welcome back to my channel. I am Sandy if you are new here and if you're new I hope you subscribe so you can catch all of my other junk journal and Cricut videos. I do want to give a quick thing a uh, quick thank you to Lori, Linda, Missy, and Erica for all your all support. Appreciate that. Uh, today's video I'm working in my winter journal which you see right here and I love how this page turned out. But before I show you the page, I wanted to show you this book that I used a page out of it on this uh, junk journal page. And it has such beautiful pages in it. And I just wanted to share it with you all in case it was something you might be interested in picking up. You can skip ahead to the junk journaling portion if you don't want to see a flip through of this book. This book is called For the Love of Paper Botanicals, and I picked this up at Barnes & Noble, but um, I also have seen it on Amazon, and there's actually <clears throat> three different volumes, and this is volume three. Volume two is <clears throat> florals, and volume one is just For the Love of Paper, and I saw this in the bookstore, and I just had to get it. First off, the texture of this cover is really, it has a neat kind of a almost leathery kind of feel, but it's not leather. So that's one thing that I love. There we go. And then just every single page has these beautiful colors. Um, you have places to write. So I intend on kind of ripping these out and using these in different uh, projects and journals. So I'll kind of flip through. I'm not going to flip through every single page, but a few things I want to highlight. Um, some of the pages, they have uh, patterns. And here's one for an envelope. So you could cut this out and make an envelope if you want to. And then it has on this side... A space for the address and return address. Here's another envelope and again another place for the address once you fold it up. More pages. I mean they're just gorgeous. You can do all kinds of different projects. And so as you go through the book it shifts into different little themes and sections. So here are some stickers that you can use. Here are some really neat, these are card cardstock um, little postcards and then here is just some more really beautiful double-sided decorative paper you can see the little post-its that I put here these are some of the favorites that I want to use um, next in my uh, winter journal and then look at these just beautiful you could even cut these out and put them into frames and use them for art in your room so fun so there's um, what was it over here? Over 160 tear-off pages. So, I mean, it's tons and tons of stuff. And then here, in the very back, there's this poster that's folded up in this back pocket. And the poster looks like this. And then you have these four prints right here in the next few pages. And they're double-sided, so you can pick and choose which side you'd want to use. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? I love the, the black background. And then these orchids. The orchids make me think of my dad. He grew orchids for many, many years. And then this side. So it's really neat. It gives you options for um, how you'd want to decorate your gallery wall. And then after that, some more just really fun pages. You can tear these out, cut them out, do whatever you want with them. Lots of these here. And then you get into this section. These are little bookmarks. And they're perforated. And um, I don't know if it's, you can see that. But you, you can pull these out. And these are bookmarks. And then just more. Here's some black and white pages. So you can color those, ink them, whatever you want to do. Here's some more really fun stickers. And then here are um, 3D succulents. So they give you directions, and they have them already printed out. So you can just fussy cut these out 
and make a bunch of paper succulents, which um, is kind of fun, fun little project to do. So many different colors that you can utilize. And then it came with this bonus little travel journal in here. So you have this whole other journal that you can use, you can take on a trip with you, which is really neat. And then some more stickers. I really like those plant stickers. Look at all of them. There's four pages of plant stickers. Then you have a bunch of alphabet letters that you can tear out or fussy cut out or just use the backs of them. And then here's some label stickers that I think are really neat. And then on this side, you have two sheets of wrapping paper, which I think is really neat. And then you have these strips, they're um, stickers, like, kind of like washi tape, but not really washi tape. All those different designs right there. And then these tags, I think these tags are beautiful. And they're perforated, so you just have to pop those out. And then some more, these are cards, so you can cut these in half and fold them in half. Cute little cards you can send to a friend. And then some more envelope pages. So you don't have to use them as envelopes because these sides are plain. So you can pick and choose. So several of those. And then you get back into some more just beautiful pages um, as you end out this book. I think that was, yeah, just some really awesome pages. And again, these are ones you could possibly frame or you could still collage with them. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, it, um, on Amazon, I did a quick look. I think it was around $20 on Amazon, which is pretty pricey. But, I mean, you look at everything you're getting. You get this little book with it. You get some wrapping paper. You get a bunch of stickers. You get cards and postcards. You get um, tons and tons of paper. Um, you have um, cardstock prints that you can... Um, hang up and frame if you want or you can use them however you want so I just wanted to share that with you all. I thought it was really neat it's not a vintage item but I'm always kind of looking for fun things to collage with and I thought this just really gives you a lot of options um, for collaging and this is the page that um, I tore out of the book and I used this portion of it in today's page. So you'll get a sneak peek of that here in a minute. And then the back is just this really, really dark forest green, almost black color. Starting out on a green page in my journal today. I did my journaling on this old uh, school paper of my daughter's. The other side was blank. So I did my journaling on that, this side. And so far I have created a pocket with this tea dyed index card. And I'm going to put this in there like that. And then I added a scrap of paper, and this is from the For the Love of Paper book, on that page that I showed you. And I just ripped it out and inked it up. Added a little washi tape. And I'm playing around with these playing cards I got from Five Below um, a lot, sometime last year. I'm trying to incorporate this somehow. All right, making a little more progress. So I've done a little cluster. I decided I didn't really want to cover this up that much. So I've kind of done this little cluster over in this area. And this little piece is one of those crochet items that I did a short story on. I like how it's looking so far. Now I want to try to figure out something to do up here. For the top half here, I uh, went into my fabric stash and I used some of these fabrics for uh, my tabs on here. You can see them over here. So I cut out a piece of the fabric and then I got another crochet item 
and I glued that down and I only glued it down halfway so it can flip up and then here I added some more of my vintage ledger paper and then I put this washi on top and then I added <laughs> the word look and an arrow so people would know to pull out from there to read the journaling here is the final look on the page. So I added a little butterfly here and I added a little January 29th and a B stamp. And then I added uh, this little stamp here about weekend vibes. And then over here, I added a bulb pin with some beads on it. So I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you all think. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.